Privacy is really important to a lot of people. If you're anything like me and you want to have a little extra privacy on your laptop, you don't have to resort to putting tape and a piece of paper on there. Let me show you a better way. I got these little sliders and we're going to go ahead and stick one of those on there. Instead of having this tacky piece of paper and tape on here, we're going to go ahead and put something on here a little nicer. So you get a little six pack here. I got these off of Amazon and I'll show you how they work. It's got some uh, tape on the back and you just glue it, you just tape it on. And then once it's on, you can slide it over to close it or to open it. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's try it out. All right, so we got a little dot right there. I don't think we want to cover that up. Those might be microphones. We just want to cover up the little camera right there. So we're just going to take off our little sticker here and then we're going to place it on here like that, just right in between those little dots that we got there so we don't cover anything up. We want to cover up the camera, but we want to be able to slide it off so we can use it. And if we cover up the microphones, or they're not going to work. All right, I boogered it up there a little bit, try and fix that uh, glue on there. Make sure we're not covering up the camera too much there. Kinda, you can slide it over a little bit still before it's fully stuck down there. Yeah, I think that looks good. Now we can cover that up and we have some privacy without this tacky piece of tape and paper on there that makes it look like we're paranoid. Now we're paranoid still, we're cautious, but we're not uh, like crazy paranoid with tape over our laptop camera. So that works pretty good for just such a little tiny thing there. I don't know how long it'll last, but uh, I got plenty more here. I got three more that I can use. And so it seems to work pretty good for laptops and tablets. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Then when we close it up here, it doesn't even, you can't even tell. Yeah, that's pretty clean. You don't see any uh, space there where the camera cover is, so it fits really flat on there. That looks pretty good. I'm kind of clean off our tacky mess. Got a little bit of tape on here still. Yeah, tape's not easy to take off. I don't have very many, <laughs> I don't have very much of a fingernail. I keep my fingernails pretty trimmed down. But I got enough to get this off. Ta-da, there we go. Say goodbye to your tacky tape and paper. And say hello to your stylish camera cover. How cool is that? That looks pretty nice. That monitor looks kind of streaky. While I got this out here, I think I'm going to clean it up. I got these uh, Zeiss lens cleaning wipes. I'm going to go ahead and use one of those and wipe this monitor down real good and clean it up with a microfiber cloth. We'll see if this uh, Zeiss lens cleaning pad gets all those uh, streaks and stuff off of there. And some of that old tape residue that was on here. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Dry it off with a microfiber cloth. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. I go ahead and use another one. Still a few spots on here I want to clean. Go ahead and wipe up there where we had that old tape too. Kind of clean it up a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. It's about, it doesn't have to be perfect. Once you turn it on, you're not going to really see any of that. I'll test out the webcam and see how it works and I'll see how this thing holds up on here and then I'll make some more videos about it. In the meantime you can check out my desk setup playlist right here. I got a lot of cool videos in there about some of the projects I've done on my desk. So yeah you might want to check that out.